In this video, I'm going to give you three tips and things that you can focus on going into the next year. If you're a new YouTuber, whether you have a channel or whether you're just starting out, there's going to be some tips for you. And you're going to be surprised about my third tip. It's going to be something I don't think anybody ever suggests that you do, but it's very, very important. Stick around and I'll share all three of them with you. Tip number one, I want you to make a goal. Now you might say, well, of course I'm going to make a goal, but it really depends on where you're at in your business. If you are a brand new YouTuber and you're not monetized yet, your goal is probably to get monetized. So focus on getting monetized as part of your goal. And if you're already monetized, then your goal should be financial. What can I do to increase my income? And affiliate marketing is one of the ways that you can increase it while you're on your channel. So go ahead and watch this video here. Now you can also add a financial goal if you're not monetized because affiliate marketing is a way that you can make money whether your channel is monetized or not. So go ahead and watch that video, but you need to make that goal. If your goal is just to get monetized, just to dig in and start making videos, then stick with that. Don't make too many goals that are unattainable because then you're going to quit. My first year when I started my YouTube channel, that was my goal. I want to get monetized and I was crazy. I went ahead and made a video every single day. Now you're probably saying, oh my gosh, how did she do that? Well, first of all, I just made my videos how to videos and a lot of them were only two and three minutes long. And amazingly, they're getting viewed and they're monetized and they're making money. But I don't suggest that if you are have a really tight schedule and you really want to make lengthier videos and you want to put more time into them. So that was me not knowing what I was doing and just digging in and trying to figure out if it was what I wanted to do. So make your goal. How many videos are you going to make? What does your schedule look like? Am I only going to focus on getting monetized or am I going to focus on um, an income? Now you might say, well, what do you mean focus on? Of course we all want to make money. That's why we're all doing this. I have found if you tell yourself you want, make it a goal that you need a certain amount of money per month, then you can do some reverse engineering. If your goal is to bring in a thousand dollars a month, then, and you want to run some ads, or maybe you're just trying to bring them in organically, you've got to come up with a plan. What am I going to do to bring that in? Am I going to do affiliate marketing? Am I going to sell courses? What am I doing and how am I going to earn it? Again, that is your plan, but I want you to make sure you have a plan. And again, it can be very simple or more elaborate and put some details in there. But if you don't know what you're reaching for, then you're probably not going to reach it because you don't know where you're going. You've heard this before. If you're taking a trip, you need a map, right? You need to know where you're going and you need to know what to pack to get there and what you're going to do when you're there. It's kind of the same thing with your business. Make the plan for this new year. And that's what I love about the new year. I know everybody makes goals, but it's exciting because it is a new year and you get to plan it out. Number two is really important look at your schedule and realistically look at how much time do you have to dedicate to your business many of us have a lot of other things going on you haven't quit your quit your full-time job yet or maybe you're on furlough and you you do have time but look at your life and include everybody else around you include your family your children your your responsibilities that you have outside of the home and really look and see how much time do I have to dedicate and then write that down each day and make sure you do it. I know a lot of people have to work around their children and they're working late at night. If that's you, then write that down. But at the same time, don't sacrifice your health to do it. Make sure you put time in there for you. Make sure you're eating healthy, getting enough rest and exercising because you'll burn out really fast. It's not worth your health to make this go faster. So just write it out. What does my life look at and look like and what time elements do I have? I have found when I tell myself, you have four hours today to work on your, your business, I will just shut that time apart, you know, set it aside and sit and work. And I tend to work better because I know I only have four hours. It's not like I have all day long and I can kind of um, take my time and not really focus. So a lot of times, those of you who have short spurts of time, probably are going to be more focused because you know that that time is really valuable. 
Here's a really quick example, a very easy way that you could keep up on your life, but get an Excel sheet out and put the hours along the side. You could even put the half hours, whatever your life looks like, and then just color code. If it's something for the kids where you have to run them somewhere, maybe you can put each child in a different color. Um, if it's time for you to be able to work, then you want to be able to highlight that a certain color, but it gives you a, a better view a good visual of seeing when is it your time when can you sit down and when can you do your work and you may not have as much time as i do i don't have children at home i'm not running them but i do work i do work full time and i even take my lunch hour and i do something for my job while i'm eating so i do work from home so i'm very fortunate but i have to put my eight hours a day in for them so i have to put that time aside for my business so if you have a visual, you're going to be more focused, you're going to get more done, you're going to be more productive. Again, this is an Excel sheet. It's just giving you a real quick example of how you can color code and help you see a visual of what your life looks like. Number three, you're, you're going to be surprised at this, but this has been one of my goals this year, especially if you're already making YouTube videos. A lot of times you're using your phone. You take pictures when you're trying to um, post on other social media platforms. A lot of times you're videotaping on your phone and transferring it over or, or just posting it from here. And how many of you are running out of space on your phone? I noticed that my phone was getting really full. So I sat down and I just started clearing things off my phone. And that's the third thing you need to do is just get that phone cleaned up. Especially if you take a lot of family photos or selfies, Take them and move them to folders and get everything organized and get the phone as empty as you can. Because if you can use this phone all year and not have to keep worrying about, oh my gosh, I'm almost to the limit and I have to take some things off, or, or maybe you are full and you went to, you saw something and you wanted to make a video and you couldn't because your phone was full. There's nothing worse than that happening. So clean it up, get it organized, make some folders and get it all or, um, straightened up and then you're ready to go. Cause this is your, your, one of your most important tools for YouTubers because you never know when you're out and about and you can get a really good video. All right, that's what I have. Those are my three tips for you going into the new year and do it. You've got them all written down. I've given them to you and take some time to, to make those different decisions going into next year and you're going to find that you're going to be more profitable and more focused. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video.